Hi, my name is Taylor Ansley. I'm Vice President of Product Development here at Soap Development. And I wanted to share with you today a few um, things to think about when you're considering which mobile platform to develop for. Uh, today I'm going to talk primarily about the differences between uh, two of the largest consumer platforms, which is iPhone or iOS and Android. Um, people have all sorts of opinions about which platform is better. But one thing to know about is that the difference between the relatively closed iOS platform and the relatively open Android platform is that one benefit of Apple's approach, the iOS approach, is that there's a lot of consistency in the user interface and in the uh, way that users are used to interacting with Apple apps. And that's really important because it's oftentimes more difficult to determine on the Android side how a user will expect to interact with your app. So for example, um, Apple has very similar uh, navigation structures through a lot of the apps that they uh, stock on the iPhone and that developers have used because it's part of the development kit that's given to them. Android is more of what we call the wild, wild west, where um, different users who use different devices might interact with apps in a very different way. And it's, it's a bit harder to come up with a UI that's going to be uh, expected. So that's just one thing to think about when considering iPhone versus Android. You have to be very careful with your choices in terms of user interface to get something that's going to make sense intuitively to a user.